Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. I have a crazy idea. A crazy, 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 crazy idea. We are one of the worst running teams in football, okay? One of the worst running teams in football. And we need to do something to help spark ourselves. And this is a crazy idea that I'm going to say, maybe we ought to look into doing something. You know, innovations happen in the NFL, okay? You might remember um, the Wildcat when it came in. The Wildcat offense was something, you know, teams hadn't seen, kind of like the pistol offense you saw with RG3 and doing that and so on, that teams don't have time to, uh, during the year necessarily, to find a ways to do it. Now, after a year or two, defensive coordinators figure out ways to uh, make them, you know, less effective. And you can see already right now what's happening with um, the tush push um, is not quite as effective for the Eagles. Now, of course, that Kelsey's not there, but it seems like it's more of a 50-50 proposition instead of being automatic. And that's typical about something that's new, all right, so here's the thing. We can't go back and make up for the mistakes that we made. Maybe the Cowboys should have given Derrick Henry that call back, you know, when he wanted to uh, play for us. Maybe we shouldn't have traded a fourth-round pick for uh, Trey Lance, and maybe we could have used that on a young running back, but we did. And here's the reality is, I doubt that you're going to be able to trade him, although I could be wrong, trade him for a fourth or a third, at least not at the moment. It doesn't seem to be that. And more than likely, now that you've re-signed Dak, you're not going to be signing him to an extension. I don't think. I could be wrong. I don't think. But here's what's a crazy thing that I have to say. If we go through the preseason, and I'm trying to find, I can't find his preseason stats, but he ended up being, he ended up not being awful. I mean, that last game he had a lot of um, turnovers. Let me see. He had a lot of turnovers. They're not, it's not listing, it's just his passing yards. <sighs> I'm not saying have Trey Lance out there passing, but what if the Cowboys, because he's young, because he actually moves well in traffic, you create some Trey Lance packages. Now, here's the thing. When the Cowboys typically know we're not going to re-sign you as a running back, they run you in the ground. DeMarco Murray, they knew we're not bringing you back, bro, but we're going to ride you till the wheels come off, Okay. Tony Pollard, they literally said, we're going to franchise tag you, but we're going to get our money's worth out of you. That's one thing about the Cowboys. When they pay you, they want to get their money out of you, whether it, it ends up hurting the team trying to get their money out of you or not. But they said to Tony Pollard, we're going to make you run between the tackles and outside. You're going to double duty what you did last year, and you're going to do Zeke Elliott's. And that was a losing proposition. The Cowboys got their money's worth out of him by not paying another running back. But the production went way down. So why not use that with Trey Lance? Why not use Trey Lance in a couple of packages to kind of give you a different look and to get a guy who's got fresh legs to help in the running game? Maybe you end up having him in the backfield with Zeke Elliott, for example. Let's say that. And let's say you pitch the ball to Trey Lance and Trey Lance passes the football. Let's just say that because it's looking like a running formation. They got eight men in the box. You get Trey Lance outside, you boom, and maybe you hit a quick hitter to CeeDee Lamb. Or maybe if they double cover CeeDee Lamb, he does just run it. He couldn't be any worse running the football than what we've got going on right now. We're like 30th in run production right now, guys. 30th. And just desperate time calls for drastic measures. 
And if you're going to have this guy who is going to walk at the end of the season, try to get something out of it than just saying, oh, well, we made a mistake. Because it seems to be that's where the Cowboys are right now. They're miscalculations that they've waited until training camp till they start trying to get people, which to me still has been the dumbest thing in the world. Because here's the problem with this. <sighs> training camp is really just the finishing off of what you already learned in OTAs. There's not enough practice time to get guys in shape. So when you bring in a guy like Jordan Phillips, who doesn't know your system and hasn't been really working that hard and, and is out of shape, you end up basically saying, oh, you got an injured wrist, buddy. You're going an injured reserve. And he's like, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay, then let's put it out here that you just suck. How about that? That you're not going to do shit right now. You need more time to go ahead and get some desire to get your head in the damn game. So instead of, you know, going after the offensive lineman when you had a chance to try and put a little pressure on the quarterback, you know, you did that and so on. And yes, I'm kind of upset. I am really upset because I look at this to say the Cowboys have so many good pieces. They have so many good pieces. But if you've got a Ferrari and you go to Walmart to buy the tires and you buy the cheapest tires to put on there, when you rev that sucker up, when you peel off, those tires are ripping apart. And guess what? You're wrecking the damn car. And don't bring up car. Shit. Shh. Derek Carr. <laughs> no! Yes. I'm a crazy cowboy fan that wants to see the cowboys succeed by any means necessary. And you have to turn over every stone and try things and think outside of the box. If Jerry Jones isn't going to go out there and get you a running back, then what you're going to have to do is take what you have and do the best you can to get the most out of them. And right now you got a guy with fresh legs who's shown he can run in space, who you stand to lose for nothing at the end of the year that you're paying $5 million to to sit on the bench. Do something with Trey Lance. Do something with him. Whew. Yeah. All righty, good people. I will see you all in a few minutes for our live stream and um, hope that we can get our shit together this week. We need a victory. Be nice to go ahead and bury the Baltimore Ravens, the Ratbirds, and get a victory, and then get on to the New York stinking Giants. I'm Mark Holmes, and I appreciate you guys. Peace. I'm right the way, King Dick back here. And so before we start this video, I got to get this mother humping thing out of the way. Mark Holmes is my daddy.